As it turned out, that scaling was pretty spot on. It's um, not exactly right. Let's just try to move it a little bit more. And of course, we can flip these around so we move our floor plan on top of the 3D. Now, of course, there's some elements of this that I don't want to keep, uh, but it's working pretty well in terms of its size. Now, to understand how this works, I could have brought both of the 3Ds in at once. What I can do with my floor plan Let's turn the 3D off for a second, is now separate these layers, and that's why I've been using fills in order to do this. So I can select, using my magic wand, I can select all of the area that is very dark, and then say select similar, layer, new layer by cut, so that'll separate the rock. Select all the area that is the light grey, select similar, Layer, new layer by cut. Turn off the other area. Select all the areas that are white. Select similar layer, new by cut. So now I have all of my layers separate. Now, one of the other options that we might want to do just to make this look a little bit more interesting is potentially, and I'll create a copy layer via copy, is to image adjustments invert the floor plan so that we can have white walls that we're cutting or we could make them any other color which might just make it more dominant depending on the sort of depth of light color or shadow that we're using. Image. Rasterize, image adjustments, brightness and contrast, depending on the depth of color that we want to add to the, the picture. And so then the white can become more or less dominant. Or we can use the, the white or the black as the backdrop. All right, so that's the first half. Let's have a look at how to do fine tuning and some uh, light improvements in the next video.